going. There you go. And now they like the Colts. Oh, there's a biter. The Colty, baby. 30 of them just ate my bait. No joke. Did I just get Oh, I did. Bye, Ah! Oh, he hit it on the pause, baby, on the wine. Oh, same here. I love it. All right, we're live. Okay, thank you guys for stopping by. In my last Bluefin video, someone asked what I was using, specifically with the jig, knife jig, and the hook. So this is the bait. You got your 400 gram repeller, the polka dot color, the jig is bent, the hook, I don't know what brand this is, also bent. As you can see here, the hook got bent out a little bit, right? Can you see? Holding it right. There you go. As you can see, the hook got bent out a little bit. That's not good. That's not what we want. This jig was floating around in my box. I don't know what it came off of. If you know what it is down in the comments, well, let me know. I'll show you what it looks like. It's got the little trocar bend in it. Not the bend, the trocar point almost. So it might be a trocar hook, but I'm not using it. It's going to get benched. I was using Fish Karma leaders, the ones with no hooks. This is 300 pound leader material. It's mono. It's got uh, good crimps, good chafe tube, a really good swivel, a good figure eight and good split rings. So overall very good um, leader. I think it's $11. Uh, you could probably make them cheaper, but you'd have to buy all the parts, the crimps, everything. I didn't find it worth it. So I just went with Fish Karma. And really easy to deal with. They send them really quick. Um, I would recommend doing business with them to all of you. Um, so this year, and this is the same Fish Karma leader. I have quite a few of them because if you get nicked in this, or if you get a nick on this, you're gonna to wanna to replace it. You, you're not gonna to wanna to risk losing a trophy fish just because you were too lazy to replace it. And, uh, for example, leader. Um, this is the same jig that I had, um, that I used last year. This is the, the new one, obviously, right? Um, this is the Fish Karma leader, as I said. And on the bottom, we're using a Tenno Jobu. So it has the welded eye, as you can see here. It's welded, so it should be pretty solid. I don't think I'm gonna be bending this out. Because bending, bending hooks is not ideal. Um, here's the hook, if you wanna see. This is a Jobu Big Game Tenno from owner. This is the Eddie Bomb. The, the rave, the rave. Everyone's raving about this thing. So this is the Eddie Bomb, the torpedo sinker. This is not a wire through. So as you can see, the, the two eyes, the brass eyes, they only go in about this far into the jig or into the torpedo sinker. So they could potentially rip out. So what I did is I got with Fish Karma. And I asked him to make me these safety lines with split rings. So no matter what happens to this jig, as you can see here, no matter what happens to the jig, I have connection to my main line here, to the treble hook at the bottom. You could get wire through torpedo sinkers that are connected on both ends. So all the way through it's wire through, right? As the name implies. So you would not need a safety line. But if you don't have the wire through, you can use safety lines. You can order them from Fish Karma as well. Um, it's a 4 uh, ST66. It's a 4X hook. The treble, I'm gonna run this on the bottom. Um, people were catching that on our trip last year. The captain dropped down a couple times and hooked up on it. He did some hooking hands on that. Um, so that's another option. I'm gonna try that one this year. And also you can get the Fish Karma um, leaders with the 80 BKK assist hooks. Fish Karma, you can find them on Facebook. Um, send them a message. 
you want any of the leaders with hooks, without hooks, or the safety line. This one is the 80 BKK with assist hooks. And as you can see, this is not a wire through, but it doesn't matter because it's all connected up here to the figure eight. The hooks are connected to the figure eight and the split ring is included on the leader when you get it. So all you have to do is attach your uh, torpedo. You have the hooks on it and then you can just send it down and reel in your fish, right? Um, I want to show you a size comparison of these um, assist hooks. These are 8 OBKK, so it might sound small to some of you. This is a 10 uh, Mustad. So it's a 10 Mustad, right? Same hook. Same hook. 10 Mustad. Look at the size comparison between these two hooks. Can you guys see that? That's an 8 BKK monster hooks. So the sizing between all the hooks, as you know, is not. Um, there's no industry standard for it. They kind of just make them whatever they want. This is an 80, and it's the size of a 10 o mustad. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing on the trip coming up. We got the fish karma leaders with hooks, without hooks, and the safety lines. We have the rip roller and 400. And we have the two eddy bombs. I have other jigs that I might use, but yeah, this is well, the reason for this video is because I got a comment asking about it. So if you guys have comments, or questions, or anything, put them in the comments. If you have questions, put them in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, that's what I used last year, and yeah, got bit. So we learned from that trip, and we're replacing that that hook with the the jobu that we're not going to bend out but yeah thank you guys so much thanks for stopping by hit the uh, buttons down below if you want any more and leave a comment if you want to see um anything else that i'm doing for the trip i know ocean fishing is pretty straightforward but i like watching other people's youtube videos so if you like watching mine share the love appreciate it thank you see you guys next time peace